love you and care about you so much. And I just want to make sure, like, are you okay? Is there something you're struggling with? I'm, yeah. I'm here to listen. Mm. And then using the power of questions too. I think if you, totally. you show them that you're there for them, A, and then you ask them those questions and let them feed you the answers. That's, that's, that's a good technique. So again, yeah. I said this in the beginning of the episode, if you have, if you have coworkers, employees, family members who, who may be struggling with something like this, uh, first and foremost, go grab the free guides. You take them, go through them, see what you get from it. And then you can effectively share that information. I personally believe, and this is the I in harmonious in the acronym for those of you who are subscribers and you know this, it stands for inspire. You need to inspire your team and as a leader, your family to help them achieve the result that they want, whatever that is, professionally, personally, it is your job to build people up and support them. You're not there to dictate and tell them what to do. You have to actually build a culture that everyone thrives in, not just survive. So um, Libby, I, I have to thank you. This is, it's a really, really important conversation and I'm glad we were able to have it because I don't think enough people talk about food and the relationship with food this way. It's always telling us what to do. So